Well, we are in the middle of the holiday shopping season, but finding the perfect gift can feel like an impossible task sometimes. Yes, so if you wait until the last minute, the only option might be get a gift card for somebody. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean talked to a psychotherapist for advice on picking the perfect present. When it comes to buying gifts, you know there are always those people, you know the ones that you really want to make feel special, but you have no idea what to get them. So let's get some expert help. Psychotherapist Dr. Angela Jones joins me now. Thank you so much. First, what do we need to think about when we are looking for that perfect gift for someone special? You know, buying a gift for someone can really tell you a lot about your relationship with someone. But the first advice that I usually tell people is actually a very simple and common one, which is ask them what they want. <laughs> you know, if you just ask them what they want, it kind of helps you and, and, and alleviates the guessing game. You know, a lot of us like to think we are great gift givers, but really, if you just ask someone what they want, they tell you truly what's on their heart, what they want. They may not even tell you exactly how they want it, but it at least gives you some guidance. And that actually shows that you're a good listener, right? If you ask them and then you give them something that's opposite, that kind of shows like the emotional relationship you have with them, which can show like, I don't care what you say. I actually do care. So I'm going to get you what you want. So many of us think that we need to spend a lot of money on someone to make them feel mm. loved and special. Is that the case or it's not that at all? Not at all, right? So what, what it's about, it's about personal, it's about your emotion about them, like I said. So if you're not sure what to get them and you're kind of short on bucks, pay attention to little things that they like. If you notice that they always drink coffee in the morning and you notice they like a certain brand, but you notice they don't have a specialized cup, maybe you could just get them a mug with their name on it. And what that shows is like, hey, I'm paying attention to you. I care about you. And mentally and emotionally, our relationship will get closer. So little things like that, that cost maybe $10, $15 can actually mean a lot to someone because maybe you're helping them with something little like oh i've been meaning to get a mug thank you for this or wow i didn't realize that you were paying attention to me like that and that actually makes that person feel like you care about them what about mm -hmm. planning an event or an experience with someone just as a gift experiences are one of the best gifts now you have to make sure you are thinking about the type of experience there's two types there's an experience that you want to share that with that person saying like, I, this is something I care about and I want to share it with you. And another experience is of course, something that they have said, or you know, that they like. So you have to ask yourself, which one is going to strengthen your relationship? And actually, there's actually research in psychology that says that if you share an experience that you enjoy with someone and you're like, hey, I want to give you a piece of my world as a gift, that actually makes that relationship stronger over time. So good. Thank you so much, Dr. Angela Jones. This is great advice for anyone looking to get that special someone a gift. I want to share the experience of a gift card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to share It's top for gift. some, for sure. <laughs> it really is. No, there are, we can all agree there are some gifts you just shouldn't give yeah. you know i mean just just stay away from those like cliche gifts you know like the gym membership for the spouse you know don't don't do that so don't, ah. i'm not necessarily speaking from a, i just actually just googled i just googled you know what gifts not to give and I, maybe that's where we should start right yeah. you know and then and then it branch out the vacuum cleaner although the i don't know cleaner. i would take a dyson all day long well, i know right? my wife would love get expensive. Right? An awesome vacuum. <laughs> a vac uh, yeah she would love that yeah I know she would. Best of luck. I'm only saying that because I know this. <laughs> well, I mean, she you, takes me to that section. Give her oh, yeah. a nice. Uh, drop some hints. Massage or spa day I'll do after that, that, too. that right? I'll do that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's go a vacuum with that. and a spa day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some.